I'm going to show you how to properly install an IDE hard drive in a desktop computer. Now most computers nowadays are going to the SATA drives, which are much easier to set up, but there's still plenty of uh, computers around with the old IDE hard drives, so if you ever want to pick up an old computer and set it up to use Linux or something, it's good to know how to set up the IDE hard drives. And as you can see here, we have an old VIO computer. I chose it because the hard drive is right in the front and easy to see. In fact, I have it out right here. There's the, uh, you see, here's the hard drive in its little enclosure. Now the first thing you do, of course, is screw the hard drive in to where it goes in the computer. This particular computer has a separate module it goes into. A lot of desktops don't. You have to slide it into a slot, especially made for the hard drive. But you get it screwed in. And if you look at the back here, you can get a good, good picture of it. See this long connector, that's for the IDE cable. There's some pins here, that's where you hook, put the jumpers. And this four prong connector here is for the power. Now the first thing you have to do is, is jumper the hard drive properly. Okay, let's go ahead and, let's go ahead and install it into its case. There. Okay, now let's zoom in a little here. There we go. There we go. Okay, right here are the jumpers. And every brand of hard drive jumpers a little bit differently. And it will say on the hard drive itself, it'll give you instructions on how to set up the jumpers. Usually you set it up as, as either a, a master uh, or single or a slave and there's a jumper for cable select which simply means depending on where you put it on the IDE cable determines whether it's a master or a slave the end connector is master the second connector in the slave a very simple this particular one is set to be either a master or a single because it's the only hard drive in this computer and that's just fine now watch how simple this is first step let's back up just a little bit here first step is to find the power cord and it looks like this see it's got the four and it's got the yellow two black and a red and it's also notice the shape it will only go into the slot one way so if you try to put it in this way well it won't fit you can see it has uh, cut corners here and you just see which side of the slot's cut and you put it in and push it down until it connects nice and tight. All right, the next and final step is find the IDE cable. And oops, it's kind of stuck here. Let's unstick it. There we go. All right, IDE cable here. And the secret, about the only secret to installing an IDE as you'll notice on this cable, there's a red stripe down this side. The red stripe has to be on the same side as the red wire of the power. See, red stripe, red wire. You just take it in your fingers, put it just like that, gently press it in until it's tight, and you've installed the hard drive. Now, on some hard drives and some cables it is possible to put this in backwards that's why we need to know the secret which is red stripe and red wire go together and it's done <laughs>